now another important dml statement is merge okay what is this used for merge statement is basically used for merging two records so if there are two records and you want to merge them into one you can use the merge statement okay so in merge statement you will have a master record and it, then you will have a, you know another record so the record gets merged into the master record okay let's understand syntax wise you know how that is done so for understanding what we have done we have actually taken a list of accounts now again you know reiterating what i just said some time back this and this these mean exactly the same thing okay so there is no difference it's just two different ways of writing it okay and this this only means list okay it's not set and all it's only list so if you see uh, you know uh, object name and this you understand that that you know it is list of account okay for your apex it understands both you can write it like this or you can write it like this okay so what i've done is i have you know in this example what we are doing we have basically taken a list and there are two values in the list acme inc and acme okay now then we insert both these account records okay now these two records got created these two account got created in the system now what i want to do i want to merge these two records okay so now since i want to merge the records i'll write two queries to retrieve these two records okay and i will have two different s objects to hold those values and then i'll merge those okay so first query will help me retrieve the acme inc record second query will help me retrieve the other record okay so the two records which i've created i am you know with these with the help of the queries i have retrieved values of both the records okay now these two need to be merged okay and you have to decide which one needs to be merged into which one and which one uh, you want to retain and which one should get merged so in this case i want to retain the first one second one should get merged okay all right so what i'll do is i will use the merge statement okay the one that you want to retain needs to be uh, needs to come first and the one which needs to get merged needs to come second as simple as that this is how you can perform a merge operation got it so i've got two s object variables one you know contains the value acme inc the other one acme i can perform a merge statement and the one which i want to retain has to be you know has to come first and the one which needs to get merged into the other one has to come you know after the first one okay so that's how a merge statement works that's all we'll discuss in this video thanks for watching for more videos in this series you can look for the link in description below or visit my website goodbye and take care